Kurbra. <laughs> hey guys, Willem from Blyberg Snake Rescue here. So after a string of mole snakes, I finally got a got a Cape Cobra again. Um, there's going to be more and more of them over the next couple of days as the weather warms up. This is quite a nice sized one. The, the lady who called me, she was uh, sitting and watching TV, I think, uh, but she was sitting on a couch and she saw something under the couch. And <laughs> when she looked down, she saw the side of the cobra's body sticking out there. And luckily she didn't try and uh, deal with it herself. She called me and just kept an eye on it until I arrived. And there you go, that's a Cape Cobra. A nice sized one as well. Beautiful yellow coloring on this one. So let me just take it out and then I'm going to let it go. This isn't fully adult size yet. They do get a little bit bigger than this. Um, but it doesn't really matter what size they are. Cape Cobras are deadly. So whether they're babies or adults, it's not a snake you want to mess with. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful snake, eh? And you can recognize it as a Cape Cobra because of those uh, thick cheeks that it has. That's where the venom glands are. And then obviously it's got the, it's got the smooth scales and coloration with a Cape Cobra doesn't really tell you that much because it differs a lot. They can be yellow, they can be brown, they can be speckled yellow, speckled brown, a whole bunch of different colors. Um, and then if it does make a hood, that's an obvious giveaway as well. So... Uh, Let's just release this little guy over there. Ah, and he's going to be off. Look how fast he is, eh? Remember guys, you don't have to deal with snakes yourself. If you ever see a snake, take a look at uh, snake removal. Find the contact details for the snake catcher nearest you. Give them a call and keep an eye on the snake until they get there. Thanks guys, stay safe.